Hey everyone, welcome back to Matthew's Guyanese Cooking. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a product review on this Carl Schmidt Sohn Indoor Smokeless Grill. This grill right here was so effortless to use, very easy, and it is definitely a great portable grill for if you were in your own little apartment, if you had a smaller sized house, if you were just cooking for yourself or just you and another person. Very convenient, very easy to use. And I wanna thank them for sending me this grill to use in today's video. Today, I'm going to be making an easy and quick grilled fish video. These fish right here that I'm using is Bronzino fish. You can use whatever type of white flaky fish that you wish but it was absolutely amazing and of course it made it very easy to use a grill like this indoors. The first thing that you want to do before you even start the seasoning process is make sure you start with a very clean fish. So I'm using Bronzino today, it's been scaled, it's been cleaned on the inside and it's been washed very well with lemon and some water. If you wanted to use salt, flour or vinegar to wash it out, feel free to do that as well. And once you go ahead and wash it, you're going to pat it down very well so it's not very wet and we're going to start to season. So on top of the fish, I went on with some olive oil. I'm also gonna go on with some salt, and then you can use whatever type of all-purpose seasoning that you like. I'm using this 14 spice blend seasoning from Badia. Um, this is not sponsored at all by Badia, but I just like this and I wanted to use it on this recipe. I'm also gonna be going in with some green seasoning, and this green seasoning right here has lots of nice pungent herbs. It has cilantro, culantro, scallions, thyme. It also has some basil in there. Whatever you want to put in your green seasoning, feel free to do that. And once you get the seasonings on one side of the fish, you're going to do the same on the other side. So that includes your olive oil again, some more salt, some more of your all-purpose seasoning or the 14 spice blend like I'm using, and some more green seasoning. And as you all can see, I cut some slits inside of the fish so this way as I'm seasoning it, I can stick the seasoning right down in the slits. It's going to make it absolutely delicious and allow the fish to soak up that flavor very well. Just keep on rubbing all the seasoning into the fish and into the cavity until it is all combined very well. So this right here is the actual grill, the Carl Schmidt Sohn Indoor Smokeless Grill. It is small, it is portable. I will be leaving the Amazon link for it right down below in the description box below this video, so make sure you check it out. All you need to do is click on the drop down menu below the video and everything will appear with all of the links for you to check out this product. And I just wanna show you that everything on this grill is very, very easy to assemble. So of course you have the base of the grill, but on top of that you have this heating vent right here that allows for moisture and air to be released. You also have the heating element that I had pulled out first. And this right here is what you're gonna to need to fill with some water. What this does is it helps to create some steam so it can cook whatever it is that you're cooking in the grill. Of course, if you follow the directions, it'll give you all the steps you need to use this grill properly. But I believe it was about a cup of water that you need to put into this little drip tray at the bottom. So this way it can help create steam and not make the meal too dry as it is cooking. And on top of the tray with the water, you're gonna go in with that heating vent. As you can see, it has a little arrow, so this way you can see where exactly you need to lay it so it fits properly. And then we're gonna be going in with the actual heating element, which are these coils here, and you have all of the controls on the right-hand side. And you're gonna see on the right-hand side of the control panel, there's a little slot to stick in the cord so you can plug in this grill. And then of course the other end of it, you'd plug it into your wall unit or whatever plug that you have. And this grill again is so easy to use. All you need to do is press that power button and then to heat it up, you're gonna click the plus sign that I'm clicking here. You're gonna heat it up to your desired setting. So I want it to about 400 degrees. You can do it to 375, 400, whatever the case is. Just keep on pressing that plus button. And if you wanna bring it down a little bit, you can press the minus button. And all I'm doing now is putting the actual grill pan section of it down. And as you guys can see, it has two handles on the sides. This is going to help when you're going to lift it up in the end when you're done cooking or when you're going to put it on. I also wanted you all to notice that until the grill heats up to the desired temperature that you put it at, those lights will be flashing. Once it heats up to that desired temperature, it will no longer be flashing. My grill has finally heated up and this is a non-stick grill, so nothing should be sticking, but being that this is fish, that is why I coated the fish with so much olive oil on the top, so this way nothing would stick. So once it is hot, you're just gonna lay the fish down right onto the grates and you're going to cook it on each side for about seven to eight minutes or maybe longer or less depending on how big the fish is. This fish is really not that big, which is why it only took about eight minutes on each side. And again, this is a very delicate and flaky fish, so you do not wanna keep turning it too much or else you can risk it falling apart. And after that eight minutes, I'm gonna flip it over and you are gonna see how amazing this fish looks on the other side. That grill left really nice grill marks all over the fish. 
And being that it's more of a non-stick grill, it's made the fish skin very, very nice and crispy and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna cover it again and allow it to cook for another seven to eight minutes. So it's been another eight minutes and my fish is done cooking. I went ahead and just checked it on the inside just to make sure and it was absolutely perfect. So what I went ahead and did was I sliced some onions and I sliced some baby tomatoes in half and I just laid them on top of the fish and you can cover it and let it steam for just about two minutes so this way they can cook down a little bit as well. But after that, this is absolutely it. I really hope you all enjoyed watching this video today. Please go ahead and give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Make sure you click that red subscribe button so you never miss out on my newest videos. And of course, drop those comments down below and let me know what you thought of this video. Again, if you're interested in buying the Carl Schmidt Zone indoor smokeless grill like I have here, I will leave the Amazon link in my description box down below so this way you can check it out. And of course, thank you again to this company for working with me again and sending me this product to show you all. I'll see you all again in one of my next videos. Until next time, bye everyone.